Solving systems using Kramer's rule. In order to use Kramer's rule, we must use the coefficients of the equations and put them in determinants. The three determinants we need are what we will call d, d sub x, and d sub y. In order to get d, we use the coefficients of the left side of both equations. To get the d sub x determinant, we use the coefficients of y and place them here. And instead of using the coefficients of x, we use the last two numbers in place of x. To get the d sub y determinant, we use the same procedure, only we take the coefficients of x and place them here. And instead of using the coefficients of y, you will again use the ending numbers in place of the coefficients for y. Now that we have all three determinants, we will simply solve each one and get those values. 3 times 1 is 3 minus negative 4 times 5, which is negative 20. And 3 minus negative 20 is positive 23. 1 times 1 is 1 minus negative 4 times 17, which is negative 68. And 1 minus a negative 68 is 69. And finally, 3 times 17 is 51 minus 1 times 5, which is 5, and 51 minus 5 is 46. Now that we have the three values, to determine x, we simply put the value of d sub x over d, which would be 69 over 23, or simply 3. To find the y value, we simply put d sub y over d, which would be 46 over 23, or just 2. So the final answer to this system, using Kramer's rule, is 3, comma, 2.